he was the most productive running back in the history of the <laughs> ACC. It seems to have given Marcus a headache. Swagoo, are you all right? No, I'm not. No, no, G. I don't know if you was coming to me first. So if you're going to Diana or Foxy no, I'm first, coming go to you to first. Because I need to process this bull. You make crap. that face. Okay, we're Listen, coming, man. Here. Uh, all right. The, the, damn, Urban. <laughs> like, what are you? First of all, I'm trying to like get all my thoughts together. One, okay. If Travis Etienne is going to be a wide receiver in the Jacksonville Jaguars offense, Rashad Bateman went two picks later to the Baltimore Ravens. That's number one. Number two is, what the hell are you drafting for? The dude was, the, was an elite back at, the, at Clemson. He was a national champion. He did his work out of the backfield. If, you were, if it was James Robinson, the running back that you have now, who had a very good year last year, if he's going to be the guy, let him be the guy and go draft a wide receiver. This is crazy. Now, I don't want to go. I don't want to go off the scale and overreact crazy, right? I expect Etienne to be in the backfield. I expect him to use him as a wide receiver at times. But if this dude is going to line up solely in the slot, Urban Meyer going to be on TV with us again over there at Fox <laughs> talking about college football on Saturday morning in 2022. I guarantee it. <laughs> That's a very interesting art. We, we have staked our claim on that. Diana, what is your sense of what he's doing there yeah. in Jacksonville? Yes, Ragu, doesn't this just reek of an Urban Meyer selection, though, in the draft in terms of a player he wants? And, and that's the truth of it. This wasn't like the ghost of Doug Marone making this pick. This was all... Urban Meyer. This isn't Trent Balke. Yeah. This isn't Dave Caldwell. This is this guy making it, right? Because here's what he likes. Look at all of his offenses, right? He loves that H receiver. He loves the hybrid. He loves being able to, to take running backs and putting in that receiver role. He loves the speed. Anything to really give Trevor Lawrence more options and to try to make this offense as creative as possible. Greeny, I do think the headline is, is way – saucier than probably what the reality of this will be, right? Because you're thinking, why are you taking such a good running back and changing his position on day one of rookie camp when this kid doesn't even know where the bathroom is at the facility? But I think this is smart of Urban Meyer to just give himself more weapons and, and take advantage of the skill set. And you know the player's going to want to do this, right? Anything to be part of this offense and make them better. So uh, I, I'm not totally against it. I just think it's a little shocking initially until you start realizing this is what Urban does. To, to be clear, going back over his offenses, I, the players I can think of that you're talking about, a guy like Percy Harvin at Florida, a guy like Curtis Samuel yes. at Ohio State. But what those guys weren't, to Swagoo's point, he is the most them. productive running back Travis in the history of the ACC. Two dudes you just named. Yeah, go ahead, Marcus. He ain't them dudes you just named, G. Like, listen, Percy Harvin, was argu he was arguably going to be one of the best offensive weapons to ever play in the NFL. And he played some wide receiver in college. Travis Etienne didn't line up at wide receiver at all. At Y'all go ahead, Foxy. I'm sorry. Go I ahead, mean, that, Foxy. That doesn't, that doesn't, me. mean, that doesn't mean that he can't. So, like, this, to me, I, I lean more to Diana. Like, this doesn't make me as concerned for Urban Meyer as anything else. Like, I understand, or I don't understand why you draft, draft a running back in that spot, especially when you have a running back on your roster who played well, who was not highly drafted. So that just should kind of reinforce the idea that you don't need to draft running backs that high. The questionable, the most questionable thing that Urban <laughs> Meyer has done so far, I would think, is bring in Tim Tebow. The only reason why this Etienne thing, like, bothers anybody, I think, is because it comes on the heels of the Tebow thing. Like, that makes no sense to me. That's the one that has the players in the locker room asking questions and the coaches on that staff looking around like, what are we doing? Like, that, to me, undermines this team much more than having uh, Etienne run some routes right now. Travis Etienne's been playing yeah. running back his whole yeah. life. He knows how to play running back. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.